Hi, I'm Elio and this is Bella from Yoga Warrior and welcome for the complete beginner yoga class. If you're very new to yoga, this is the first time you practice, I want to check if you have any injuries or health issues, I would recommend to ask your doctor. If not, you're more welcome to practice with me and I'm gonna explain a bit about the yoga class. We begin by a uh, breathing technique and then we move on to waking up the body. We do a bit of sun salutation, if you heard of them. And after that, we pass through a small sequences and we finish the sequence. We lay on the body, we begin to relax and to let go to Shavasana, which is corpse pose, letting go and relaxing. That's the main part of yoga, to relax. And uh, if you like this practice after you finish it and you feel like you want to do a bit more, you can try the seven day yoga program. It's for beginners and I link the description down below. And let's get started. Bella, she's excited. <laughs> so sit cross-legged to your mat, relaxed. If this is not su suited for you, you can sit on your knees like that. This is also an option. So see what's comfortable for you today, just do it. And if you're here, gently release the hands towards the knees and make sure your shoulders are far away from the ears so you're not hunching or lifting the shoulder up, you're relaxing. And begin to be aware of your spine. If you have a hunch back, begin to straighten the back, lift the head up. And if you're here, if you like, you can close the eyes. You have the option to close the eyes to begin to focus on yourself. And let's begin with our breath focus. So deep inhale through the nose, fill the chest, and then fill the belly. Open the mouth, let everything out. Very nice. Seal the lips. Now you're gonna breathe in and out of your nose very slowly and deeply. So deep inhale. Reaching each corner of the body and exhaling everything out. Deep inhale. And exhale. You're gonna keep breathing in and out of your nose deeply and slowly and begin to bring your awareness here if you have your mind shifting away just again focus on the breath focus on the present moment inhale and exhale two more to go deep inhale and exhale Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Now, keeping the shoulder where it is and the hands towards the knee, we're gonna stretch the neck, release the right ear towards the right shoulder. And from here, keep a straight back and begin to release the head forward down, chin to chest, lifting up towards the left, left ear, left shoulder and all the way back and breathing in and out of your nose. So you want to keep breathing in and out of your nose throughout the class, focusing on the breath. One more round, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder and back to center. And now release left ear to left shoulder. So counterclockwise, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder and then towards the back and then left ear left shoulder chin to chest right ear right shoulder and then back to center great inhale both arms up reach up and exhale release the right hand simply right next to you and reaching the left hand all the way towards the right so stretching the left side of the body and make sure you still have your left sit bone towards the ground. You don't want to lift, 
you keep pressing the hip low and stretching the left hand and keeping both shoulder aligned with each other you don't want to reach like that you want to reach and open the shoulder inhale both arms up and exhale left hand to the left side right hand reach towards the left again make sure your hip is glued to the ground and you're flexing your spine deep inhale and exhale inhale both arms up and now you're gonna twist right hand all the way towards the back plant the right hand behind you and left hand on top of the right knee straight back back is lifted and you twist through the shoulders let your hip to be planted to the ground and look towards the back deep inhale and exhale inhale both arms up and exhale twist towards the other side so left hand behind you and right hand on top of the left knee twist again make sure both shoulders are aligned with your hips so you're not going back neither forward you're trying to keep this spine straight and gentle release back to center place both hands towards the floor and now taking the knees back to a tabletop position so make sure here the palms both hands are glued to the ground and your hand is straight usually you might have the hand to be rotated to the outside and then when you move you will have a bent hand so rotate the hands towards inside and plant the, the fingers knees below the hip hip width distance and the feet are flat let's wake up the spine by doing five cats and cows so deep inhale you drop the belly you push the belly down you lift the head up you stretch the throat and exhale rounding the spine pushing away the floor to a cat pose inhale to drop the belly lift the head up and exhale to round the spine pushing the shoulder blades away from you exhale inhale to drop the belly lift the head up to a cow pose and exhale to round two more to go inhale to drop and to lift the head up and exhale to round chin to chest last one inhale drop the belly lift the head up and exhale round to a cat inhale back to center tabletop now we're gonna do spinal balance to wake up the spine and to warm up the spine you take the right hand forward left leg is back engage the left leg so it's straight towards the back and right hand to reach all the way forward imagine you're making a straight line from the right hand all the way towards the back keep engaging the left glute also deep inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more round inhale and exhale release the right hand to the ground left knee towards the ground right foot to lift and left hand to go straight we take it to the other side now so deep inhale again keep reaching both limbs far away from the body and exhale two more breath inhale and exhale inhale and exhale gentle release down tuck the toes from, from the back feet plant the hands make sure the hands are aligned with your shoulders and let's begin to lift our hip up towards the ceiling so begin to lift the hip high all the way up and you walk a bit the feet forward so this is called downward facing dog you almost have a triangle shape with your body so begin to pedal the feet just to have a bit of opening with your hamstring your hamstring might be a bit tight here you might not have straight legs it's fine to have a micro bend on the knees and lifting the heels just a bit and if you can try to reach the heels all the way down towards the ground deep inhale 
Keep reaching the hip high, straightening the hands and pushing the hands away from you, pushing the floor and your chest is reaching all the way to your knees and make sure your head is relaxed here. On your inhale, begin to walk the feet forward to a forward fold. So both feet are aligned with each other. Release everything down. Again, micro bend on the knees and interlace both hands together to a Randall pose. Sway a bit from side to side. Deep inhale. Just allowing a bit of space to happen between your hip and the lower back. There might be a bit of tension there. Just want to release it and to relax a bit. Make sure your hands are relaxed, your head is relaxed. Taking all tension away from here. On your inhale, release the hands and begin to roll the spine all the way up very gently. Making sure the last thing to reach up is the crown of the head. Very nice. Now, take the hands towards the side of your body. Engage the feet, engage the glute, engage your core. Shoulder are separated from the ear. Head and crown of the head is reaching all the way up. Open the hands, engage also the hands to a mountain pose. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, both arms up, reach the hands up. And exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Forward, fold, exhale. Now, on your inhale, you're gonna do a halfway lift, which is, you might have the hands here to have a straight back to lift, or you can place the hands here or here towards the chin. And exhale, again, forward fold, plant the hands and step the right foot all the way back towards the back, release the back knee, flat feet from the back, and lift up, arms up, inhale to high lunge. In your high lunge, make sure your hip is relaxed and pushed towards the ground. You're not sitting up here, so you want to check with your body. You're not being here. You want to be melted down towards the ground. Arms are reaching up. And exhale. Release the hands towards the ground and begin to walk the hands back. Straightening the front leg, feeling the stretch with the left hamstring and flexing the toes back towards you. To a seated half split pose. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure you don't have a hunched back. You want to have it just a gentle straight back. Deep inhale. And exhale. On your inhale, walk the hands forward. And now you're going to step the right foot all the way to the outside of your left mat. So your, the, the feet are crossed. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, grab the right hand, grab the left wrist, and you stretch towards the right. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, release the hands towards the ground, place the right foot inside. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back to lift, and exhale, fold forward. Now we're gonna step the left foot all the way towards the back and release the back knee, flat feet. Inhale to lift up, both arms up. Again, check here, your hip is melted to the ground. You're pressing the hip down. You're not sitting up here. You're releasing all the way down, reaching the hands up, inhale. And exhale, release the hands towards the ground and begin to walk the hands back, straightening the front foot, flexing the toes all the way towards you. Deep inhale. And exhale. Wherever you look and wherever you are in any pose that you're doing, it's totally fine. Inhale. And exhale. Walk the hands forward, lift the back knee. And you're gonna step the left foot all the way to the outside of your right mat. 
arms reach up, inhale. On your exhale, with the left hand, grab the right wrist from the right hand and stretch towards the left. Inhale. And exhale to release both hands to the mat. Step the left foot to the inside. Inhale. Halfway lift. Straight back. And exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Arms up. And exhale. Heart center. Now we're going to do the three rounds of sun salutation. Like I told you in each yoga class, you might have a warm up of sun salutations. So today we're going to do the sun salutation A, Surya Namaskara A from Ashtanga. So plant the feet, hands to a prayer. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hinge forward, forward, fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back. And exhale, plant the hands, step back to a high plank. Engaging the feet and the back. You can lower the knees and you lower yourself down all the way to the ground. Keep the elbows tucked in. You release down towards the ground. Open the feet a bit wide. On your inhale, you push the floor away to lift the chest to a cobra pose. And on your exhale, you tuck the toes from the back feet. You lift the hip high to a downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. On your inhale, look between the hands. Begin to bend the knees and walk the feet forward to a halfway lift. Inhale. And exhale. Fold forward. Very nice. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, heart center. Let's do our second round. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, hinge forward, forward, fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back, and exhale, plant the hands, and begin to step the feet all the way back to a high plank. You can lower the knees, and exhale to release down. Inhale to press the floor away to a cobra pose and exhale to tuck the toes from the back feet to lift the hip high to a downward facing dog. Deep inhale and exhale. On your inhale, look forward between the hands, bend the knees and begin to walk forward to a halfway lift and exhale, gently release down towards the ground. Inhale, arms up, and exhale to heart center. Last round. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back, and exhale. Plant the hands and begin to walk the feet back to a high plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way down. Low plank, press the floor away to a cobra. Inhale and exhale, tuck the back toes, lift the back hip high to a downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. On your inhale, begin. Now you're gonna walk the right foot to step it forward between the hands. Release the back heel if you don't find balance. If you like, begin to raise the hands all the way up. If you, this is too much for you, you can shorten the stance as much as you like. If not, you can open as much comfortable you feel like today. And also you can release the back here for more stability. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, try to sink a bit the hip low. One more, inhale. And exhale, now you want to open both hands to shoulder level. The left hip is open to the side and right knee is on top of the right heel and arms to shoulder level, spine is straight, head is straight and looking forward to a warrior two pose. Make sure the back leg is straight and engaged and 90 degree from the foot. Deep inhale and exhale to sink lower. Again, you can check with the stance of your feet. Inhale, 
and exhale. On your inhale, flip the front palm, reach up and stretch back. Keep the front leg bent. Inhale and exhale. Windmill both hands to the front and straightening the front leg, releasing the right hand on top of the chin or the quad and left hand to reach up to a triangle pose. Try not to put too much pressure on the knee. So you're putting the hand on the chin or the quad and you're using a bit the core to lift the weight away from the foot. Deep inhale and exhale. On your inhale, bend the front knee, step forward to the front of the mat. Now make sure you, the right leg is planted to the ground. I'm gonna face the camera. So right foot is planted to the ground and we're gonna do a three pose. Take the hands to a prayer and you can begin to place the foot like that to check with your balance. If you like, you can lift a bit up towards the calf to see where you feel like you're going, you want to go today. If you like, you can lift up towards the inner thigh if you have the flexibility. If not, that's totally fine. But try to avoid to put the foot on the knee. Don't press on the knee. You might get injured. So you lift and you try to find a bit of a balance having arms to a prayer just focus and gaze at one point not to the tv where I, you feel everything is moving so gaze at one point deep inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale and very gently release everything down both hands towards the mat step both Feet back, release the knee, lower down, all the way towards the floor. Open the feet, feet are flat, press up to your cobra, inhale, and exhale, lift up to a downward facing dog. So now we're gonna take it towards the other side, we don't miss any side, we will try to make this perfect balance. On your inhale, walk the left foot forward. Again, you can have the back leg released to find a bit of balance. If not, you can lift the heel high, arms to be lifted to a high lunge. Deep inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Again, check with your stance what is suitable for you and comfortable for you to do today. Inhale, exhale to open both hands to shoulder level reaching both limbs away from each other. And again, the front leg with the chin should be 90 degree to the floor and back leg should be straight and engaged. The foot from the back is 90 degree and you're opening the hip. Right hip is pressing back and hands are straight. Spine is straight and head is on top of both shoulders and relaxed. Deep inhale and exhale. Flip the front palm, reach back, inhale, stretching back. On your exhale, straighten the front leg, release the left hand on top of the left chin of your left leg or on top of your quad, but avoid putting here on the knee. You can have a micro bend here if it's too much for you. And right hand to reach all the way up. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. On your inhale, step forward towards the front of the mat. Now you're gonna begin to plant the left foot towards the ground and you're gonna take the right foot to check here if you can find a bit of balance having the arms to a prayer. So you can begin here, you can start to lift towards the calf or you can go all the way up towards the inner thigh. Again, wherever you are, you're doing great. As long as you're focusing, I almost lost my balance, which is totally fine. So wherever you are, you're doing perfect. Again, check and gaze at one point so you can focus with me. Deep inhale. And exhale. 
One more, inhale. And exhale to release everything down. Now, take both feet to the front, bend the knees, sit low, and release all the way towards the back. Very nice. Now, get the feet here. I should sit in the middle. Perfect. Now, take the feet to be close towards your hip. So, take the hands to the side. Just check if you can reach the heels. If you can, just release the palms here. And let's begin to go to a bridge pose. You begin to lift the hip high as much as possible as you can. Pressing the hip up using the quad to lift you up and the glute and a bit from the lower back. Deep inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And gentle release towards the ground. Now, take the right foot and place it on top of the left knee. So, left foot to the ground and you twist towards the left and right hand to reach towards the right and you look towards the right. If you like here, place the left hand on top of the right knee and check here how much you can take the left knee towards the ground. It might be a bit intense, just check where it's comfortable for you, just take it. Deep inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Release lift the knees back to center. Now you're gonna hug the right knee in towards the chest. If you like, you can take the left foot straight to the front. And if it's too much of a pain for the lower back, you can keep it here bent. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Release both feet. Again, we're gonna do an, another round of bridge pose. So place the feet towards the ground. Make sure that your hands are reaching and begin to lift the hip high. Inhale, pressing the hip up and exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and gentle release towards the ground. Rotate the knees to the right to twist and releasing the left foot towards the ground. Left hand to the side looking towards the left and place the right hand on top of the left knee. So begin to check here how much you can take the right knee towards the ground. It's a bit intense for the rotation of the foot. Just check where it's suitable for you today to open. Just take it. Deep inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Back to center, lift both knees, hug the left knee in. Again, check here if you want to have the right leg straight or bent to the mat. So try to relax your breath, coming down the breath. And if there's any thoughts, just begin to take them away. And gently hug both knees in towards the chest. And just rock a bit from side to side, giving yourself a small massage before we go to a Shavasana pose. So Shavasana pose is there where you let go of the thoughts and you let the body to be melted to the ground. You don't have any connection between the mind and the body. So the mind should be free and away from the body and the body should be relaxed and just grabbing by the gravity and releasing down. So you're gonna begin to let go. Find your way into Shavasana, taking the feet to the outer edge of the mat, opening the feet wide and taking the hands wide as possible as you like. 
to the side if you're practicing at home you can open the hands as much as you like and make sure the palms are facing towards the ceiling let's take our final control of the breath take a deep inhale through the nose and open the mouth sigh it out ah, very nice seal the lips and gently close the eyes and you want to begin to relax the feet you want to begin to relax your legs make sure your hip is relaxed to the ground allow your heart to be melted and heavy to the ground released there Check if you're having your hands heavy also. Your, each finger is just released and melted here. And check with your head. If there's any tension, you're still thinking that you should hold something, just let go. And by having your body here relaxed, enjoy two minutes of Shavasana. Just gently close the eyes if you haven't already. And if you see anything, just try not to judge and keep yourself a bit awake. very gently and slowly begin to bring your awareness back by circling the feet opening and closing the palms you can also rock the head from side to side right, you take both hands stretch them on top of your head like you're waking up from a deep sleep and gently release them and find your way your favorite side so we turn towards the side of our body use one hand for the support of your head and one to keep it connected to the ground again you have the option to keep keep your eyes closed to the end of the class again try to be aware of the place and the space here Try to see the benefit that you gain from the practice and very gently press your way up to a seated position. Just very gently and softly find your way there to a crossed leg. You can have both hands to your heart center and also you can close both eyes. You're gonna begin to bring gratitude to yourself for the practice and for your mind. It was very nice to take care of your body and to letting go of your thoughts for a bit. May today you go forward, you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your word, and peace in your heart. 
If you like my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay connected with me with every practice. And like I said at the beginning of the class, I will link the, in the description below the seven day yoga program for beginner. And leave me a comment and have a very nice day. Namaste.